uh, these niggas mad, I'ma give them a reason They wanna take out the kings, but she feeling like treason So egregious, loyalty and love is on the back burner This kind of truth make a nigga wanna grab the burner Yeah, now I'll be switching the tempo I jump out the window on any nigga, claim and simple To be told, I don't care what you went to, I don't discriminate Test your fate, you know what it is, overcome the hate If they ain't hating, you ain't doing the right That's the reason that they've been hating on me my whole life, yeah of the system which is the key point in this question right here this question is what made you decide to go against the beast the beast being to me the system the mm -hmm. oppression and, and, and so forth what made you decide to go against the beast we call it the beast because we, yeah. we antagonize it at this point now we antagonize it and become yeah. straight at it so i felt like i kind of been going against the beast before all this even came about like for example this whole pandemic right before this even came about was because I just became conscious of how the system is, especially how it goes it has been divided in um communities, people of the black community, people of color, you know, the economical system, the social system, the the history. It's repeating itself. I went against the beast. I decided to go against the beast because I felt like it doesn't make sense for you to continue to decide to take control over the people and make their choice, their health choice, especially like the medical freedom situation, right? Look what's happening right now with this medical freedom, like no one has freedom to make a choice. See, some people literally think that they're making a choice for their safety, that they actually making that choice. But I said, if that, you're not making a choice if you're being coerced. That's, you know, you're being coerced and then you're being controlled. I mean, this system has been doing that for years and years and years. Through the school system, through the, through the you know, look at the prison system, you know, constantly throwing innocent people in jail. Look at the system, how they're doing. I mean, you know, why not? You know, and now for me, I, I think it's because of the struggle. You're constantly struggling and struggling and wondering why you're not getting where you want to be. And you constantly turn around and you seeing people lives being taken away for no reason. And I mean, you, you have the, the divide that's constantly going on and it's like, yeah, I know that it doesn't make sense for me to want to comply to what they are trying to do, to destroy human race. So, yeah, for me, I, there was no way, <laughs> there was no way that I was going to let somebody make a choice for me to put something in my body. Yeah, give it up. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me get a round of applause. <laughs> Nobody wants to nobody wants nobody to nobody wants to touch talk about how y'all feel about that. Let's speak more, how y'all feel about um that topic and what she said. Yeah, that's 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 the truth. And I mean she said it she broke it down in layman terms, you know, we talk about this every day. I mean like hearing it from somebody else, especially that somebody that's actually in the fight on the front lines, putting in the work, it, it sounds so much different because we talk about it every day. So to hear that from you and you actually doing the work, it just comes off so different. Like, you could, you could, you know, words have many meanings or whatnot. Some people have double, double meanings or what, whatnot. But we know the truth. The truth is the truth. And no matter how many times or how many ways you're going to say the truth, you have your own version. I have my own version. He, he, Design has his. Roy has this. Everybody has their own version of the truth. The, the the fact of the matter is that at the end of the day, we all are coming together under that one truth, and that's to serve God and unite what's left of humanity. I, I, that's my favorite word, what's left of humanity. And and we just build from there because we can't afford to go backwards. We made it too far to this point right here in the spirit of truth. We're witnessing a lot of things we expose and coming to the light because we've all been asleep for a very long time. We didn't know any better. You know, we're all on our own different spiritual paths and journeys. So we're all on different timings. But when you see a mass awakening of millions of people, you have to know that something is not right. Yeah. You have never seen, we have never witnessed this in our lifetime. I was watching on the news today at my daughter's school on the TV. They said this is like 90% has been the biggest boost or highest rise of inflation in history. In history. Damn! 90%. This is the highest it's going to get. Well, we don't know. We don't know. I'm just saying, just for this lifetime, we we, we hope this is the last lifetime. <laughs> um, 
Oh, what's that particular question again? What, what made what you decide to go against the beast? Well, I mean, the beast went against me since birth, for starters. So we can start. Amen. Not everybody looks at it like that. You know? I mean, but nah, that's what it was. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Because it's just like, yeah. just you knowing me personally, just us growing up together. Like, I never had, like, bad intentions. And it's just like, you know, the closest people that hurt you are the people that you love. And it's just like, I've just been attacked ever since I was just a child. For no reason at all. Just, you know, I stay to myself. I don't bother nobody. And that still does not save me from negativity. No matter what I do, I've tried everything. So it's just after a while, you know, the prey becomes the predator. So it's kind of like basically what I'm trying to say is like I went from basically being a victim to giving people a reason to be mad at me this time. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just that rebellious spirit. So it's really just what really made me go against the beast was when like I found out about like the elites. And then that made me turn into an atheist. And then, like, I went, like, on, like, a down world, like, spiral of just, like, sin. Even when I was an atheist, like, every, every time, like, I was in trouble, I always ran back to God, like, even when I was an atheist. So it just really, like, it came to a point where I was just like, okay, this doesn't make any sense. Like, so you believe in the devil because that's all you see, but you don't believe in God. It has to be an opposition to that. Like, it's only a balance. Okay. It's always a balance. So that's really what, like, brought me back to the light. But just to answer the question, just, um, yeah, it was really, like, just finding about finding out about, like, you know, your favorite celebrities and stuff like that. that that's what really made me, like, go against the beast. And just, like, society, just in general, the programming. That's what made me go mm. against the beast. Yeah, I like what you said about, about atheism, though, because I feel like... We connected to God. God is our Father. It's just yeah. like being atheist yeah. is kind of just like seeing, seeing how it is without having a father there, a spiritual right. father, there, a higher, a yeah. higher father. And it's like you're ignoring him, and it's like I ain't even gonna lie. One of the things that made me wake up was, like you said, all of the evil that we've seen. And I'm not even talking about the evil in like the industry and the big world, and then like that. I'm talking about evil. yeah, like just the evil going on around. Evil. You realize like, yo, there's no way this atheist thing is really like functional or, or reality because it's like. These evil entities that I've seen myself are too deeply embedded in people's spirits for this to be like a carnal thing. And you know what I'm saying? Darkness made me realize more so that I had to wake up to. That's a good that's a good um, analogy. And for people that are going through atheism, it's good that we can connect with them because we surf through there a little bit. So we know what that's about. Right. We all hit we all been there at one point in our life. And I mean, it's it's like you said, it's it's a choice. It's your choice. It's a, we all have free will. We don't judge anybody. We all have been on that that at that. Well, we're we're older than most of these um these these the younger people here, um. But still, everybody still still older people may not get it. Over fifty years old, you know what I'm saying? They still don't get it, and they still don't believe. I'm down to talk to them because they need to, they need a, they need a reality check at this point, and it's like at this point now we got the knowledge to shake that a little bit. I'm not saying we got all the knowledge in the world, but we definitely got enough to make you think like, wait a minute, because you let the antichrist get to you in some way, mm -hmm. especially if you hate this, you let the antichrist probably get to you nine times out of ten. Right. Some influence made you feel like God is not real, and that came from somewhere. It wasn't something you just brought up yourself, read something or source something or live something out where you experience things that made you feel like this is a reality that that's a that's a program right there and that goes into right. the next wait wait juju has what? something to say she wants to say something oh, to back off of what you saying something about you know um with, with and realizing it how you said like the devil could be embedded i mean also we, we could look at it too like because i know sometimes people it's about a religion let's just say you know it's much more bigger than religion too. When we talk about how we find in God or find in our higher power to connect with, you know, and releasing that that evilness, the devil, the devil, which is, you know, whatever. Because, and I look at, I don't know how you guys, but for my spiritual journey and what I do, I look at it as because you are made in His image. You know, too, I look at it as, as being God and God is it too. Right. Right. Later, then versus it's like okay, you have to be a specific religion to believe in God. <laughs> You know, whether it's Christianity or Islam or whatever, but it's also bigger than religion. Right. Right.
Because it's man-made. It's man-made, you know, religion is made to, to worship man, you know. And um, so everybody, everybody's bumping heads because they think their religion is better than... It's like everybody's fighting. To, remember that tower of Babel, the, the, the tower is fighting to get to heaven? And, and God ended up separating all of us to where we are now. And everybody has speak, speak, speak in different uh, languages. You understand? Because everybody was fighting to get to, to heaven. They think they was going to build a tower to heaven. Who going to get there the quickest? Oh, I'm better than you. I'm going to get there the fastest. I built it taller than you. I'm going to get there. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Yeah, but heaven and hell is right there, though. We make the heaven and hell. Right. But I see the good thing that we make the heaven and hell. Right. Why are we looking outside of ourselves? Why are we looking up? Oh, we're gonna play a song. I'm gonna play a song from one of the uh, Freedom Fighters, uh, Eye to the Truth, and then we get back into the topics. I'm a arm, all the troops. I'm a rap for the truth. Right. Even if we gotta die, right. we die for the truth. Yeah. They coming for your freedom now. What you gonna do? What you gonna you think they give a damn what you gotta go through? When you take your little baby to the dock for a shot And they told you it was safe when they lied and it's not safe They help him but it's dead, they put metal in his head Then your baby get to shake and having seizures on the bed Some end up with autism, some end up dead And you can't even sue them, they're protected by the bed That's the kind of shit that make you want somebody dead That's the shit that make you want to paint the city red But chill, be home and gotta keep a level head Play chess, not chuckles if you plan to get ahead First I make them hate me, yeah. wish that I was dead like I feel, then we'll go to war. And the point is no return. stripping us one one by one everything every freedom every law one by one and the more they can see they get away with it the the yeah. faster they they come in with the next plan exactly because it is like the, the people the people have not stand in the government they have not stand in the, the right to be to govern to be the government to make sure that they can they are the ones to serve us oh i mean don't get it. Like I said, it's the great awakening, but it's the smaller budget in the great awakening. Why? Right. It is. I mean, people are waking up. Mm-hmm. You got to think about we're waking up from being, we're breaking up from being, we're breaking a change. So even though we're waking up, we're still getting out of that, you know, when we've been through too, because you was in place. Now we got to put that chain and then it's like, we in that great awakening. It's like, it's a journey. It's, 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 it's a walk. And yeah. They're, yeah. they're taking like a while for the rest of the people to do the same thing. So that fight, like you said, can't be nice anymore. <laughs> you, got, you got to get angry. You got to get messy. You got to get, you know, loud. They feared the Great Awakening, like a mass awakening. Yeah. They feared that. Yeah, for real. Uh, we we need, you know, we need some change. Because at the end of the day, the way people been living, you know, what I'm saying, like you said, when it comes down to having the hustle, having the grind, and having and have to work, check to check, check to check, you know, all that yeah. lifestyle, especially to people that are old, that is just, it's just ridiculous now at this point, it's time for, it's, it's time for change, man, and people gotta, people gotta come together and stop being scared, man, I know it's, it's definitely scary, but that's the whole problem about it, is people don't even admit things are scary, everybody just like, be like, yo, you know, when you ask somebody, like, yo, bro, are you scared of this? They will literally look in your eyes and tell you they're not scared. I'm like, bro, I, it's, it's fair here, but I'm yeah. acknowledging it so that way we can discuss how yeah. we're going and do this. Not, right. oh, I'm not scared, I'm good, and I just go on. Nobody wants to take accountability of the fears that they have about the situation. Yeah. And 
and to do whatever, just or push it off, whatever, act like an alpha or whatever. Exactly. I think it's because it makes them people are so like they want to be validated by society. They want to be validated, so they don't want to show the vulnerability. They look at it as your weakness. Like, no, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Like you gotta, you gotta be true and genuine with yourself. <laughs> Yeah. And, you know, and but I think it's a lot to also being educated too. Like the only way I, I personally, to me, to be honest with you, the only way that I think things can change is because it's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be an overnight thing. No, it's not. But it is starting to happen. Like really, people are removing themselves from the system. Mm-hmm. Like they're not trying to be under their jurisdiction anymore. Like, okay, I'm gonna go live off land, <laughs> live off, you know, off grid, and it's like building our own community, pretty much. Right. That's the only way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, sorry. No, I'm mean, yeah, like that's in that building our own schools. Like it's, it's already happening. Like people, like good, good, like a good thing is parents want to take their kids after school, right? Yes, yes, that's what I did. Sure did. Yeah. Because it's like, but then it's like, of course, you gotta figure out, like, parents, okay, so if you can't, if you, if they can't work, um, if they got a homeschool, then let's say, I don't know, they probably gotta start working at home doing remote so they can homeschool with their kids. Yeah. So they're making a transition. I like, you know what I mean? To me, that's the only way how I see if if that change Mm -hmm. would happen. Constantly trying to operate ourselves by, you know, check to check in, looking for the corporation. I, that, that's over. <laughs> I feel like, I know people got other different religions and stuff like that, but let's go right. to the Bible. It's 600 laws in the Bible. If everybody follows those 600 laws, you'll be in a completely different atmosphere, right? And just, that goes for even people with different religions. There's different laws. Everybody got, like, different like that and even they different religions still have the laws that they have in within the religion protect them from cancer protect them from health issues it protects them from you know what i'm saying uh it protects them from being around their own people it protects them from sinning in different ways and stuff like that too as well so it don't even have to necessarily be only the bible if people would strictly want to follow whatever they follow it still would align and help them like make a big difference people just see it and just like you know we skip through it and we just don't even look at nothing and you see um, the laws in like the Quran and stuff like that if everybody actually followed that then the people that claim to follow it and stuff like that really act really follow it they would be in a better position you know what I'm saying for certain people anyway so or, or I mean or like well then you have to look at it two people following they also done evil it's like it depends on what we're following like, right. you're saying you're saying because if we're saying like follow the bible like follow the Quran then we gotta look at the best that you know, man too have wrote the Bible and also we people of evil are the Bible what, what are we following? Like the yeah, but people, you know what I'm saying? Um when it comes down to it, when I say follow it, I mean like follow it precisely and not make up people be making up their own things. Like people will be like, uh uh, you know, just make up their own things. We're not gonna go too deep into that, but we're, people will make up their right, own things. Right. They'll read what they read, and then they'll just, oh, that part is okay. I could do that. That that's cool. No, I'm gonna skip that part. I'm gonna skip this part. They skip and they do whatever they want to do and stuff like that. So I think that would make a difference. Other than that, it would take for people to come together naturally and just create some type of order and respect amongst each other. And I think that's just, I think that, I honestly think that God is the only thing that can do that because people, I don't feel like people naturally have instinct at this moment, at this time, to just come together and respect each other and love each other and share and care for each other without order, without some type of like order over them. Like That's just how I feel about it. Right, and I, I agree with you yeah. on that, like, you talk about order, that's true, like, order, but not the order that we are used to following due to a system. Again, mm-hmm. going back to when Your name was saying something about with the organized religion or, and all the other stuff that's organized, mm-hmm. that's all corporation. Yeah. And, and, and so let's just say that we can still follow order, we, could, we can, yeah, yes, come up with order and following the order, the, the universal law of order. Like, you, as human, like, technically, we're supposed to just live a simple life just by respecting the human life, right? So, when you know yourself as a human being, because your, your connection with you and your God, that's all that matters, you know what I mean? And then the order does follow through, like we said, the following the laws and following, like, you know, um, what we're supposed to do. 
that's the only way that would be it because if you would kind of make make these people, the government, these other governments, these entities, if they want to, I don't know, serve us, then we have to make them accountable. That's all. That that's order. That's part of law. That's order. Make them accountable. So the people yeah, right, 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 I mean, like, for example, you know what? That's a perfect example. Like, we were doing, I don't know if you heard of New York the Jour. You're so yeah. with New York the Jour. Mm-hmm. New York the Jour kind of does that. What they do, what we do, and I think it's very good in that because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed mm-hmm. to let them know, make them recognize that you are to respect the natural human being in right. the law. Mm-hmm. And so we, we give them the oath of service, like the shows and the, the, government, the system tell them, this is what we're giving you. If you don't do that, then we put them on notice. We gotta stay, stick with that, make them responsible and accountable. Put them in right. default, put them on notice. We have to take back the power. A lot of times people don't want to because again, oh. we're so used to depending on a system. Mm. So that's why they have like stuff like organized religion, all these other systems. Because it's like, oh yeah, this depend on that, this depend on that, this depend on this and that and that and that. You'll be okay. Mm. And it has become so comfortable for people to do that. That's definitely true. Wow. Yeah. Anybody got any um? Anybody else want to talk about that, or y'all want to keep it moving? Um, I would I would like to say that we we're gonna speak with Ray about that too. He, uh, uh, he's part of New York Du Jour. Yeah. He's right. gonna he's gonna be on the show too. Um, this weekend with uh-huh. Juju and um Dana, Italian queen. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. So Ray's going. Right, he's going. Correct. He's going to touch on that about the laws. Right. A lot of us don't know the... Basically, that has been stripped from us. That has been stripped from us. What's been stripped from us? Exactly. Our human laws that we talk about all the time, that we're trying to figure out how to do this, how to decode that, how to honor our debts, what, what we, what we um, are owed, and we keep talking about reparations when we already have the reparations. We don't know how to honor them. We don't know how to use them. Yeah. We're already millionaires. We don't understand yeah. it. So Ray and other people, they put together these contracts and these laws, these um, common law um, contracts that we are supposed to be doing as a people already that we do not do because we don't know. Yeah. It wasn't taught yeah. to us. They don't teach us that yeah. in school and in, in institutionalized programs and uh, demonic satanic programming. They don't teach yeah. us that. It's not for us to, to know. It's like slavery all over again. There you go. That's it. And that's the only way, like, and that's the thing, like, going, like I said, like, like she said, but just imagine if parents were taking their kids out of school, homeschool, we're, we're starting a new, a whole new society now. You know, we're, mm-hmm. we're, we're, we're going to be educating now our kids about the, the real laws right. and all the other things. But... Yeah, that's a whole different thing. That's a whole different thing. Right, that's, that's a whole... Maybe everybody will be saying, well, that's a whole, like, another thing. But, yeah, that's the only way. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's one thing if you're going to manipulate your, you know, your store manager's corporation, but you still got to know the laws. You still got to understand oh. it and know oh, how yeah. to, you know... Yeah, so... How to like use you said, it. Like you said, you know, it's mm-hmm. away from us, so. Like, we all know paying your taxes, that's, that's, that's theft. Yeah, but the IRS going to be on your body. The hot second, you make a good amount. Yeah, but that they're they're a gang, and that's a part of their programming. That's 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 not for us. We don't we're not supposed to be conforming to what they they dictate to that um, we're supposed to do. That's theft. You're taking our hard work earned money. You understand? For what? Mm-hmm. You're poking your nose into our paychecks, and you want a piece of it because it's too much for you. It's too much. We're yeah. making too much for you. Does that make that doesn't even make sense? It's ridiculous. It never made sense, honestly. It really, really, literally never made sense. Like, literally in my mind, I just be like, when I hear about it, I like, I block, I ain't gonna lie, I block it off. In my mind, I be like, listen, man, I don't, I ain't even, I don't even be thinking about it. I just be like, yo, I just can't. So I just be like, yo, this is too much to process. You got like five different types of taxes. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not doing too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they are, right? That, it's funny because I know all of us people like, hey, that's a big tech thing. But then you realize that I had to learn myself. I was like, oh, dang, you don't 
pay your taxes and all. They could put you in jail. That's the fear that they give you. They, they actually put fear on you. And I was like, are you serious, really? That was a long time ago. <laughs> now, you know, it opened up my mind to realize, like, yeah, all that stuff is nothing but program. <laughs> How much people is starting off with zero dollars? You going, I'm going to go to work. You going to tax me because I go to work. You going to tax me on my car. You going to tax me on my property. Damn! It's like the pimp, they want to be pimps. <laughs> Yo, know, oh, I'm done. But, um, yeah, so um, we can keep it moving and going. To, you want to um, take a break and play a song, play a song or you want to go off um, to the next question? We're going to get into uh, design. He's an engineer. He's a... Uh, oh. He does all of my music, his music, Roy's music. He does everybody's music. He's excellent at what he does. So this, this is his song, no doubt. Oh, uh, we yeah, we want to perform too out there with y'all, girl. We want to perform with y'all. All right, we got it. We got it. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna play a little bit of your song and then we'll get into it. Just give my robot some time, please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm about to like give me a whole new Instagram. <laughs> I think everybody's leaving Instagram. A lot of people's leaving Instagram and they're leaving the, the education system too, which I'm happy about. Very I love good. Instagram, but yeah, they were, they, they, they were my enemy for a bit. Yeah. I don't understand why people haven't been pissed off with education. Like, they literally. Right. They teach us nothing. I, I don't get it. Like they, they teach us the super duper basic thing. They teach us nothing. Like they teach us how to grow food. They teach us how to mm -hmm. right. They teach us how, another language. They teach us nothing. Literally taught us basic math and basic science, like, and taught exactly. you how to read. And we 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 probably already knew how to read because our mother was reading you know, you know magical books and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Right. Well, teach us how to have a business, and you know why that's the case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to be slaves. That's all. They want to work for them. I gotta. Um, I'll get back to the music. We can go to the next hop. I have my cousin configure this out because he, uh, he know how to do this stuff. I don't. We going on with the topic I said of destructive criticism. How do you feel about destructive criticism? Dealing with people that display destruction in their criticism. Yeah, I guess in a way where they, like, they're, they're trying to shame people for not thinking like they think I just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah, we know who those type of people are. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to face the reality of what's, you know, happening. Mm -hmm. They find every way to make you feel, you know, excluded right. but not part of society because, well, make you feel like what you're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> King Design. Oh yeah. Uh. <clears throat> uh. Feels like a bad dream. Feel like the world's trying to take my self esteem. Can't resort to anger, had to lay you off the steam. It's that drama, God had to intervene. I made a choice to go against public enemy. To deal with misery, I feel cups of Hennessy. They dividing us apart by our chemistry. With no team on the field, that's a penalty Treat that Honda keychain like a gold necklace They say chill boy, I used to be so reckless They put in no effort, there's no message I went through trials and tribulations and learned my lesson I'm a different breed, growing bigger like a mustard seed Must you see, you ain't much better than your company I told the truth man, you ain't got a front for me We could get this W, tell me what's it gonna be all the fears in the world couldn't stop me from grinding See the top of the mountain, I couldn't stop climbing It get cold outside, and I can't stop the climbing I got used to the kitchen, now I don't really mind it I done been in some scuffles, though my vision's declining See, I stood up for me, now my vision's aligning I had a couple haters, cause they vision dying I don't do the crying, keep grinding, my hustle mighty Praise God, I ain't perfect, but I go hard, your facade Here's a joke, pull your card, with a stroke of your odds your destiny full of integrity I keep my head high They know that they cannot mess with me I switch routes now I can live with no doubts Can't compromise now I'm down to gold miles 
take you to a higher power, still love the style. I'm still king and I still don't mess around. I'm here to help my brothers, I'm here to help my sisters. Man, you should quit now, you can't stop this mission. Uh, we kings and queens, tell me now what's making a living. I was born gifted, I'm just taking what's given. Uh, I'm full of passion and purpose. In my heart, if I ain't serving, I'm worthless, so I keep working. I'm trying to make you see that you shining like diamonds of bliss. We used to be slaves, well, I tell them crimes is a risk. I told them truth in time for the myth. Now I'm moving swift. No way, I couldn't miss. Gotta attempt, I'll be a shrink. We gotta go and win. Trying to find this life through sin. Yeah. King Design, man. I don't stop, man. I keep going, man. So I'm telling you. What you think about that, Juju? Hey, you know what you saying? We had to say. <laughs> he he put it out there. I had to help my brother and sister peoples. I like that one. We yeah, to people, like what they gotta do. Right, and and you wasn't you was very calm about what you said too. You ain't say you know what I'm saying. You ain't you wasn't too you wasn't angry. You just was like mellow, and I think that's the best way to communicate. What, what, on a certain on a certain frequency. When I'm talking to them, I don't want it to feel like, yo, this person is trying to get me angry or mm -hmm. or this person is trying to aggress. No, I'm trying to get you to, to admit something that you wouldn't usually admit. Right. Yeah. That's dope. Right. That's, that's what it is. It's going, to, it's going to, whoever listen to it and at least like the content. R.I.P. Bubby. 